everyone, it's time for another product review. This is the Dea Fiesta Breakfast Burrito. It's one of those things you're just gonna warm and eat. So for those days when you want something quick, convenient, this is that, and I'm gonna taste it for the first time. So this is the Fiesta one, you got some black beans, you've got an egg style scramble, peppers, potatoes, and cheddar style shreds. Sounds yummy already. Let me just take a look here at, um, here are the ingredients. You can just pause and take a look. Nutrition facts. I'm just going to show it there, guys. You can read it. And you can microwave it. You can put it in the oven. And it says, tip crisp burrito on panini press. Ooh. Or frying pan until all sides are golden brown. That is a great idea. So I think I'm going to put this in my toaster oven because I don't like the microwave. You can, maybe I could microwave a little bit to kind of kind of get it heated through and make it faster. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me just open this. Obviously, it is dairy free, soy free, gluten free. Let's take a look. Okay, so it's not a bad size. So I think I will possibly, I'm just gonna put this in the toaster oven. How long? Uh, 350, ooh, to 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, well I'm going to put it in the microwave for like maybe a minute, then put it in the toaster oven and see how it comes out. Okay, so you're, I, it is really crazy because it says cook for a minute and 45 seconds in the microwave or in the oven 40 to 45 minutes. And, and then eight minutes unwrapped. It doesn't make, it's too, like, this is not, it's no longer a convenient breakfast food, like, just eat and go, or grab and go. I could put it on my grill. So what I did was I, I microwaved it for about 45 seconds, and then I put it in, I think about 10 minutes into the, um, in the toaster oven. I'm not waiting longer than that. So I'm cutting it in half. I'm going to take a look at the inside. So, Let's see if it's cold inside still. No, it doesn't. Uh, it maybe could be warmer. It's hard to tell. I mean, you could nuke it a little bit more if need be. But that's what it looks like with the egg kind of crumble, the it, peppers. Somehow it looks even more underwhelming after opening it. Hmm. Okay, no, it, I'd say it's warm enough for you. Like, it's warm. I taste the cheesiness to it. I mean, it's okay. I think the cook time is what's ridiculous, but I'd say microwave this instead. Maybe microwave it. Probably a nice thing is microwave it and then put it on a grill if you have a grill. It, it, so it says to, you can cook it in, it says crisp, it says crisp burrito on panini press or frying pan until all sides are golden brown. Yeah. I did try this. Oh, you did? I did and it broke apart. Oh, okay. So definitely don't do that. Okay. I mean, it's tasty. It tastes nice. It's like, it's got the nice flavors of, I mean, I love the Tex-Mex flavor. Oh, I should put some salsa or something on this. Yeah, you can add salsa to this. You can put a bit of pico de gallo on this if you really want to, you know, zhuzh it up. But as it is, it is a good little um, burrito. And I don't remember how much they cost because my mom's friend got a few of these and gave to us. So guys, that's all for now. Let me know if you've tried it. Do you like it? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.